changes. Makes a strong man weak and a poor man rich. The difference is decided by character. And if you don't think character is the only factor in deciding victory, then you've been playing the wrong game this whole damn time. The world was playing the wrong game 200 years ago. They learned what it meant to be found faulty in character. For their failure, they became a wasteland of nuclear hellfire. Now out there is a horde of men calling themselves survivalists, remnants of the old world, thinking they can get by just on the strength of their arms alone. There's a new California Republic gambling away the glory of America's past on a legion of slaves trying to rise against their masters on some old forgotten highway. None of them have any idea what kind of character it takes to bring the greatest nation on earth back to glory. But down here, in Vault 18, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about winning that war. Right here, right now, on this battlefield. You are the last of America's finest men and women. You're the A-list. The rest of those idiots are a thing of the past. Now is your time. You'll get out there and show that you have the character it takes to bring America back to glory. Can I get a hurrah? Damn right! Now move out! Some people like to deal with their problems head on. I, on the other hand, prefer to fix my problems by using my head, preferably not as a battering ram. God damn it, kid. What the hell was that, huh? telling you, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't mind patching up one of my kids, but I'm not Dr. Rossman Medicine Man. Hang on. They're coming too. Hey kid, wait. Uh -huh. You're not ready to stand up? Oh. Okay. Man, I ain't got time for this. Take it easy now. You're coming out from under the effects of some heavy medication. Man, I can't believe this. I was this close to working out what was wrong with Jane. Without her, the vault's nuclear reactor will blow sky high. But no, I had to get yanked back to the hospital to treat some crazy kid who can't even grasp the basic concept of vault ball. Um, is the basic concept don't play it? Uh, brains. Needs to grow more brains. <laughs> you really knocked yourself out cold, kid. Nothing a couple of stem packs can't take care of. Now sit your ass down and let me take a look at you again. Hmm. Damn. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. What happened? Aha. Uh -huh. It speaks at last. Well, kid, you decided to play the unstoppable sword against the invincible shield. You tried to dodge Johnny Matheson, the meat shield of doom. As you can tell from the splitting pain you're in, you lost. Let's just get these x-rays going and see what we've got. Whoa, scratch what I first thought. Stimpaks ain't gonna do shit. Seems like what you need is a reality check. You ain't no warrior, kid. You're a scientist. You're way smarter than those patriots and barbarians. It's time you put that to use. I'm, I'm in complete agreement with you there. Dr. Rosman, the robotics and computer anal analytics, analytics teacher. One and the same. Surprised you recognized me through that haze of stupid you're in. What were you thinking trying to play football with the jocks? I'm sorry to break the news, kid, but the prognosis is in. You're a chronic nerd. 
Okay, no, 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 we're in, we are in total agreement here, and, and you're asking the right questions. Where is Dr. Bishop, the real doctor? He says, trying to sound as unsnarky as possible, considering one's health is in this man's hands. I don't know. Jamie and Tara pulled you in from the gym and dropped you on the table like a sack of wet sponges. I guess Tara just grabbed the only doctor she could find. Dr. Bishop is in the hydroponics lab today, so you're stuck with me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, mem memory coming back, you mentioned something about nuclear reactors. Um, I, I can't remember the exact details, but I think it was along the lines of we're all going to die. Huh, about that. I'm not a doctor of medicine. I'm a robotics expert. But I know a thing or two about mending wounds. I was just working on the Jane, a system that regulates the flow of water to the reactors. Some asshole's been throwing trash in our intake. I think it might be intentional. To be honest, this political nightmare over tomorrow night's election has me on edge. I wouldn't put it past Bragg and his patriots to sabotage our most critical system in an effort to make Overseer Christensen look bad. Okay, you... Uh, Coach Bragg, it was setting me up. Okay, we'll give it... You don't like dealing with people much, no? When can I get my... No, 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 no. You don't like people much. Hell no, I don't. I'm a career scientist. I may have been born in the waste, but my heart is with the technology of this place. Cold, thoughtful machines are my first love. Humans? That's a machine I can't fix. That's why I like to escape every now and again. Lead away missions and scout the mountains. Trading for technology. Keeps me sane and busy. I read this book once. Final line of the last chapter. Hell is other people. At least I think it was the last line. The book was burned for heat by some illiterate wastelanders. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this is all that stupid scorching computer's fault. I told Coach Bragg it was setting me up. Yeah, I did it, uh, was I playing that game because of the computer? Scoring computer? You mean Sarah? That slut? I wouldn't be surprised if that bucket of bolts started early. Listen, I'm sure the all-knowing coach John Bragg the Magnificent could convince that whole team to jump off a cliff if he wanted to. But you? You learned a valuable lesson today. Men aren't to be trusted with leadership without questioning from the lower ranks. You ended up out there with no way to win? What made you want to be one of Bragg's patriots anyways? That is a... Yeah, I just wanted to be more popular. I hate being called a nerd. No, I don't. The generalized occupational aptitude test told me I should try. Something made me do it. Ah, that's it. The gold. Where'd you dig up that piece of communist trash? You must have been hacking into some pretty serious shit to find that. From what I know of Vault 18 history, the first overseer did away with that junk in the early days. This is a democracy. Down here, we rely on hard work and nepotism. I'm impressed, though. Wait, hard Glad work you found and... it. But don't let other people tell you who to be. Ever. Say, nerds love science. I've got some work you may be interested in. Clearly, you ain't gonna hobble out on the Bragg's field again. You will stand duty. You will do fine. You understand? <laughs> that dude's a dick. Okay, yeah, 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 I pretty much agree with you. Um, cut to the chase. Uh, when can I get back on my feet? Foot. You mean, when can I get back on my foot? Auto Doc says amputate. And I ain't one to argue with my machines, neither. Uh, so unless you come up with a better prognosis, or have a magic touch to fix this thing, I'm just gonna assume you're toast. Big no, no, no. I will take a, I, yes, no. You stay away from my foot. There you go, shining like a star student now. I've already fixed your butt up as best as I could when you were knocked out. Listen, you've always been a really bright kid. I'm sorry for making fun of you, but you gotta understand, it's in your best interest to listen to me. I've got some cool stuff to show you in the lab. Computers with data 200 years old. Stuff nobody has time for. But you? You can fix it in your downtime. Let's get you on your feet and over to the Vigor Tester to make sure you got all your bits in the right place. 
poor, as right as your jigsaw butt is gonna be. I'm sorry, which bits are we talking about? And why would they not be in the right place? Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck. Well, my most valuable asset, my brain, still seems to be intact in spite of recent lapses in judgment. Let's hope I manage to, uh, keep that the case. Nerd Superstar, you've chosen the path of the scientist. Or rather, the path of the scientist chose me. Plus one for skill books that you read. Having lived a life of solitude with your technical studies, you have an easy time mastering hardware. But people, that takes patience. Not really, they're pretty easy to, to, to master. They're fairly daft and a little more difficult to fix than machines. It's not really very complicated, is it? Why do people always assume that intelligent, scientifically minded people should wear glasses? It's a very irritating stereotype. That's more like it, isn't it? You've taken a blow to the head and somebody has to ask you if you know your own name. Yes, I do. My name is Dr. Mobius. <laughs> it's actually Timothy. But it's not exactly the name I would have chosen for myself. It doesn't scream destiny, does it? You've, you've never heard anyone shriek in terror, oh my god! Tim is coming. It's just not really, you know. On the one hand, science. On the other hand, I'm currently being patched up by Doctor Doesn't Know a Damned Thing About the Human Body, apparently. Um. Yes. Round numbers, maybe? Just sort of round numberiness. There is no real reason to favour base 10. And yet, for some reason, I do. Crazed inventor. You just can't stop inventing things. When you've got your wrench out and you're looking at the world, some things just glow with potential. Some might say hitting appliances with a wrench to turn them into robot pals is insane. But you can't hear them over the clanging. Damned right. I mean, don't get me wrong, certifications are good. You know, a scientist should be qualified, should have um, an education. An engineer should be certified. He should have proved that he, he, he is competent to fix whatever it is someone asks him to fix. But there's something to be said for just hitting things and seeing what happens, right? Poke it, prod it, take it apart, put it together again, and then just assume the three or four things that you've got left that you couldn't quite find a place for didn't really belong in the first place. Right? I mean, I'm right, yeah? I'm right. Of course I'm right. Of course I'm right. Rob Co-Wrench. Come on. I'll show you where the old server is, and you can get to work. Get to work? I can get to work. Does getting... To work involve hitting things with a with a Johnny Matheson. Hello. That leg must really be bothering you, kid. You're wobbling like a protectron. I'm sure your sister has something at home that'll fix you up overnight. Okay. You might want to check in with her when you get home. My sister. All right. Check with my sister. Hey, Carter. Where uh, are you going this time? Oh, just have to hand in some paperwork to Aaron in the vault security office. Albert gave me some late-night work orders after the big game. Hmm, working overtime trying to get that cave straightened up. Yeah, apparently someone tried to break into the terrarium. No idea why, but he wanted me to file a report. Ha, huh. punks probably. The wasteland is too dangerous to mess around with right now. Else I'd take him sightseeing. Show him how the survivalists treat this behavior. It's better than babysitting this nerd, waiting on him to get in trouble. Oi! <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice you there. Sorry to hear about your leg. That must have hurt. Didn't even notice me. Not as much as you Only not noticing me. Listen, we got to get to work. Take care, honey. Yeah, sure. You two have fun. Honey? Okay, okay, okay. Out of curiosity. That Carter sure is a sweet girl. 
Oh. Kids got too much time on your hands. You're cooped up down here with no direction. Probably why Coach Bragg got such an easy time convincing kids that smashing into each other is a good idea. I remember when they first brought John down here. It was because he overseer that he could with his kids and teach them how to behave. Not that I've seen much change. Time will tell, though. Okay. But I was about to say, if my leg is busted up, couldn't we have stayed in the sick bay? Ooh, hello. And maybe, you know, tried to find something to fix me up there? That could have been... Alright. Welcome to Vault Tech Vault 18. Please enjoy your stay. Looks suspiciously like a bar. Out of order. Okay. Things to fix, I guess. Hi. And there's a the computer lab. Oh, sweet home. I'm sure you'll be in and out of there more than an athlete is in and out of other folks' beds. Okay. Hey, Dr. Rossman, how are... Oh, wow. Are you okay? Me! I'm fine. Ish. Apart from the limb. Well, the chat later. Oh. Okay, kid. I'm gonna leave you here for a while. This big computer mainframe is named Maria. She's a big box of mystery. Always has been. I have all the access nodes loaded up now. It's up to you to hack your way to victory and make me proud. Hello. Okay. Talk to Maria. I'm going to assume Maria is not the Pong terminal. Okay, Maria, it's uh, it's nothing personal. I've just got to take a few minutes hey, have you seen my to myself I because I... It. It what are you working on? Um, I, um, I, I took a bit of a blow to the head and my leg is killing me. And uh, no offense to the good doctor there. He didn't exactly do a brilliant job of patching me up. So, uh, yeah, I'm hey, going to... Oh, them. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm barely jogging with this leg. Yeah, I want, I want to make sure I get my leg fixed up. Before, you know, it sets badly or something. Hello. Okay. Don't hack the security terminals for the lols. Overseer's office. Right, yeah, uh, I need to check around and see. What are you? Oh, it's okay. Oh. Are you here to get some medical attention too, or? Hi. Oh, um, hey. My folks are making me do this bullshit. So let's get it over with. Sorry for fucking up your leg. Uh, no you're not. Don't lie. Uh, I'm sure you didn't mean to break it. No hard feelings. Yeah, of course you're sorry. I really don't care. Get lost, Johnny. I don't care about your phony apology. Also true. You d stupid crackhead. Get off the jet. No, I really don't care. Go away. Go away. Well, it looks like we have something in common, asshole. Maybe you'll care more when you realize you'll never play sports again, you arrogant cripple. I didn't want to play sports. I've no idea what possessed me. And you look ludicrous. Take the bloody armor off. The game's over. Did you forget how to undo the buckles? Perhaps you should ask someone slightly more intelligent than you. Do we have any goldfish? One idiot. I mean, he's still got his bloody helmet on. Hello? Oh, you, um, you could... Help me out. Medical clipboard. Square rimmed glass. Are they? Are they my? No, I don't wear glasses. Scientist. Scientist goggles. Can I? Do you? My, I'm a scientist. 
Vault Lab uniform. Maybe that's what I should have been wearing earlier. Yes, in Heart monitor. Okay. Stimpak! Okay, bone saw? I've actually got... I've got a... Uh, um, where was it? A Robco brain saw. Effects! Extract brain. I also have the Robco wrench. Repair robot. Hello. Is there anything else? Empty syringes, tweezers, forceps. You never know. I might need to. Okay. So can I now? Can I now sort my leg out? Ooh, I can. Brilliant. And whilst I'm here, I now right square rimmed glasses. Scientist goggles raised. Uh. What? What? Why is my le Okay, those goggles look daft on me. What? Why did my leg get... Science! I was gonna put the, the Vault Lab uniform on, but... Okay, those... <sighs> really? Really? I can't... <gasps> How may I serve you, Master? Shh, you could give me another stim? Oh, well, I've still got one more. Why do I know that's not going to do anything? Why do I just know that's not going to do anything? Save the stim pack. <sighs> just brilliant. That's... Today's Physician? Oh. Oh, that's one of those. Ah, yes. I get a, a sort of a little bit of a boost for a little... Right. Okay, not really supposed to be uh, taking that much stuff from here, I guess. Okay. <sighs> really? Please tell me I can fix this. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with a bad leg. He did say it was all. Oh. That's annoying. I think he said I could I could go and talk to my sister about it. Yeah. Uh, what's... Where are we? Inaccessible. Uh... The lab. Alright. God, that's a bit too bright. So, I'm, um, I'm, uh, admin. Probably don't want to go into admin. Um, oh, this is bloody annoying. Okay, well, he did say I should check in with my sister when I go home. But the way he said it sounded like I shouldn't be going home right now. I've got stuff to do. The thing that'll make Vault 18 great again is some good old-fashioned elbow grease and American ingenuity. Fill up those cracks, clean the floors. Okay, if you say so. What are you working on? That is a laser pistol! Can I have one? Whoa, you look like you fell down the elevator shaft. What happened? Uh, it's nothing. I just got roughed up. You know what? Screw it. And you people, let's just get... Well, didn't you? Don't be horrible to the lady with a laser pistol. That doesn't look like nothing. Just tell me what's going on. Uh, Johnny Matheson kind of plowed into me during the game, completely wiped the floor with my face. It's nothing. Just forget... She's gonna hear event. I mean, let's face it, Johnny Matheson's gonna wander around telling everyone anyway. I might as well just be the one to tell her. John Matheson kind of plowed into me during a game, completely wiped the floor with my face. Don't even ask why I was in the game, please. That's awful. Why did he do that? He knows because you don't he belong can. in the football field. God, these stupid wasteland kids are always so fucking mean. He's. Oh. 
we're from the Wasteland 2 kid, we're all in this together. You know, I know life is tough, but so what? Not everyone is an asshole. Let's talk about what's going on here. Yeah, no, that's just, you know what it is. I, to be honest with you, I'm not totally sure what I was doing in the game. I mean, he knew I didn't belong there. Why didn't I know it? We're from the kid, we're all in this together. We're all in this together, can I borrow your laser pistol so I can go and shoot him? Not everyone is an not ev you know what? Yeah, not everyone is an asshole. I'm not so sure. I don't get along with the wasteland kids or the old people, especially not my parents. I just serve them. That's all. We're from the wasteland too, kid. We're all in this together. Are we? Are we not? Aren't we? I know. I just wish the others would see it that way. It's like they don't care that we're all from the same tribes or that we're all descendants of ancestors who left Vault 18. All they care about is themselves. It doesn't help that the old Vault Dwellers are so rude. Without us, they would be helpless. Most of them are so old they can't remember how to use a toaster, let alone run life support. Ah, uh, that's just old people for you that are always like that. Um, let's talk about what's going on in here. What's up with the old server? Oh, Maria? I don't know. Computer science is my main focus of study, but I've never been able to crack her. It's almost as if someone purposely encrypted her systems in scaled tiers, trying to hide important data behind partition drives. Dr. Rossman asked me to go outside and repair a bunch of cables last week, then a bunch of new topics appeared in her main menu. Is that why you're here tonight? It might be. Uh, yes, he said it might be a good place for me to spend time recovering. Well then, I think you're in the right place. I'm glad we can spend some time together. Oh, okay. Oh, hey! When you said you wanted to spend time together, what did you mean? Uh, hello there. Well, it means I haven't seen you much lately. I miss hanging out with you while I work. I feel better having you here. You went on that football tangent and we haven't had time to talk. Why did you try out for Bragg's team anyway? He hates you. I do not know. Talk, talk, you mean you want to be close to me? I just wanted to fit in the Wasteland Kids. No, I didn't. Just, just, not, I don't know. It was stupid. You mean you want to be close to me? I mean. I, wait. I just wanted to tell you that I missed you, okay? Let's try to avoid the romance options and charisma checks. Eh, uh, Well, yeah. Hey, baby girl, why don't you give me a chance to just go? No, okay. Yes, okay. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you. Did you want to ask anything else, or are we done with the personal stuff? No. I'll be back. Oh. All right. Sorry. Crazy. Just. Just. Kira, <laughs> just no. I'm not even no. I'm just. I... I have no idea what you're saying. I, I, I so want to be... Oh, really? I can't... I can't, I can't I... Really? If I sit in that chair, someone's going to get miffed? Okay, so we have a lot of terminals, a few chairs I can sit in, a chair I can't sit in, coffee, which... Apparently, I can't drink. This is obviously someone else's seat. Okay, that is a little disturbing. There are some switches. All right, I familiarized myself with the, the layout of Maria. Checking ID. Confirmed. Hola. ¿Habla usted español? Uh, not really, no. Uh, yes, but I'd rather continue in English. Yes, thank you very much. Ah, that's too bad. Displaying main menu. Uh... Display system status used to access network server and fix program faults. Display maintenance menu. Use this menu to manually repair nearby... Okay, no. Display the system status. Uh, yeah. Displaying system status. Please restore all severed cables as outlined by Vault Tech Overseer Order 001 of the Day 1 Instruction Package. Severed cables. We've got severed cables. And tier 1 networks offline. Tier 2 networks offline. Th they're all off bloody line. Please refer to the maintenance menu and perform the specified tasks in the order listed. This order is the enemy of productivity. I like order. Order is sexy. 
disorder is bad. Okay. Are you flirting with me? I'm not saying it's not working. I'm just... Uh... Main menu. Yeah, so, so what was it you said I needed Display to get? Overseer status. order Please restore all zero, zero, one. Tables as outlined by Vault Tech Overseer Order 001 of the Day 1 Instruction Package. Right, got it. Okay, so I need to get that. Um, Main menu. Probably. Display maintenance menu. Use this menu to manually repair nearby maintenance systems. Maintenance menu. Okay. Network. Oh, Tier 1 network to server. There are a set of switches on the side panel of the main host gateway in the server core upstairs. The top tiers are currently disabled. You should switch them on to start the local area network. This will allow me to restore functionality to my basic functions. Upstairs, you mean you mean right here. Before we go anywhere, just main menu. just just I I want to Okay. Yeah, kid. What is it? Haven't found yourself in trouble again, have you? Do we have odd Right, okay, Doc, these terminals are way above my experience level. What should I do? What happened to the external network connections on the old server? Post-apocalyptic politics is what happened. Dumb lawyers doing an engineer's job. Once upon a time, Vault 18 was supposed to be the center of the American wasteland. We had this big machine at the core of that promise. But the Great War screwed that up quick. What wasn't blown to hell in about 30 minutes has been scavenged and sacked for small settlements. You see, the network was a set of cables running all over the country, and this server kept the vaults connected. Ooh. But one by one, the others have failed. Some were destroyed, and others just vanished. Then one day, 18 years ago, they all just blinked out. When the first overseer, a guy named Clint Dixon, took over Vault 18, he severed the links to the outside, said it was a toxic influence. He kept a few cables alive, but severed the rest. It's just been little updates ever since, until they all stopped a few years ago. Now we just have what's left for you to play with. Hope you spot where those weird I.O. spikes are coming from. Hmm... Okay, these terminals are a little above my experience level, so... Ah, well... <laughs> you probably should have thought about that at the beginning. It's no problem, kid. You don't have to grow up overnight. If you look around, I'm sure there are some science textbooks and magazines laying around. Ooh, okay, so get better. Get better. Uh, is there any cool things I can work on? I'm done with the computers. I'm not really done with them yet. I just, just... Later. Just, 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 just... Hey, have you seen my programmer's digest lying around? I hope you didn't read it. But it would explain why it disappeared. Programmer's digest. Scrap electronics. Activate bulky pre-war laptop. That, that seems a bit rude. That does seem a little rude. Where do these... Okay. Where do these doors... Oh, they just go outside. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, you mentioned a digest. Now, she said something about upstairs, right? Oh, there were some switches hey. upstairs. You hear that kid from the lower apartments? You need something. Uh, oh, maybe? Hello? You should watch out if you're going past vault security. They're real hard asses about everything. Yeah, they don't like it when you run. Good to see you're not... Apparently. Okay, so on the upstairs area, we are ha no. Right. Mini main bus. Activate tear switch. So he's not gonna give me any hints. I have to just try and figure it out from uh, from the instructions. And there are a bunch of them down there. Now it did say I needed to did it? Let's be absolutely sure. We've read all the relevant information before we start throwing switches willy-nilly, you know. I mean, I know I said hey, poke it How's and Maria? see, and, and I'm still with I poke it and see. But if if you look on the outside and there's a big sticker that says, for crying out loud, don't poke it and see, you might want to check that sticker out. So let's just have a look. Um, Maintenance menu. What did this one give us? 
Network one to there seven. Are a set of switches on the side panel of the main host gateway in the server core upstairs. Upstairs. The top tiers are currently disabled. Currently disabled. You should switch them on to start the local area network. This will allow me to restore functionality to my basic functions. Got it. All right. Thank you. Thank main you. Menu. Thank you. Yeah. Just do double check. Double checking. Double checking. Uh. The stairs are over there. All right. Oh, wish I could run. Wish I could run. Being crippled sucks. Can I have the day off? Really want to be able to run around. All right. Activating the switch. Activating another switch. If everything blows up, I'd just like to say in advance, it's not my fault, okay? Hey, kid. How's Maria treating you? <laughs> the computer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Got me uh, quaking in my boots, so to speak. Right. Nothing blew up. Tear switch. Out of order. Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying your stay with Alltech. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, Maintenance menu. Network to server tier two. This should be exciting. You will have to restore several switches in the vault to restore my functions. I have sent their locations to your pit boy. Have fun. Okay. Uh. Main menu. I just display the system. Displaying system status. Yeah. Please restore all severed cables as outlined by Vault Tech Overseer Order 001 of the Day One Instruction. We're gonna, package. but can you give me right? So science, right? So this one's offline, but now I've done the switches, I could use my awesome scientific knowledge. You've navigated my menus to my satisfaction. Some local terminals are unlocked. Awesome. So we now have, we now have some more terminals. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. I'd just like to point out, if you notice a bunch of terminals now working, that was me. I'm here, fixing stuff, being awesome, limping, but still being awesome. 